Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli. Thank you for joining my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. Thank you to all of my patrons and my supporters. Um, today we're going to talk about a really hot topic, and that is autonomous driving. Uh, it's not only Tesla that's involved with it. Tesla is way ahead of everybody else. But um, there's some interesting, interesting article I read in an Axios blog and also Business Insider, and there was also um, a, a you know a survey that was made comparing. Uh, a, Tesla full self driving with Waymo and um, a GM a cruise system and all that. And there was like a very strange, um, very strange uh, survey uh, about what people think uh, who is the ahead of uh, full self driving slash autonomous driving. And Tesla obviously came ahead 24%. People think that it can. It, this is the company that can be trusted the most in terms of um, in terms of uh, self uh, self driving, uh, full self driving or autonomous car. GM, by the way, came in fifty fifteen percent. Uber uh, with seven percent, and Waymo, uh, you know that Jaguar uses or testing, not uses testing, just came in two percent. This is a really almost a nonsensical um, uh, survey. I mean, how would you know? I mean. The truly only car, the truly car, the true car that uses autonomous drive, semi-autonomous driving. Uh, I would say the driving assistant, uh, full self-drive with assistant, autopilot, whatever you want to call it. There is no autonomous driving available any in any car. It's not even approved. It's obviously Tesla that's using it the most, and I'm going to get to it in a minute because, first of all, there is a lot of uh, dangers in it. Uh, there is a lot of regulation. It can be very confusing to um, uh, to uh, uh, customers and to drivers. Now, why am I spending this time on this at all? This week is a very big week for Tesla on um, uh, April 22nd. Uh, it, it is going to be in Palo Alto a presentation for Tesla investors about the future of uh, Tesla uh, autonomous driving slash full self driving. And uh, it's very interesting that it's very similar to the date where they're going to uh, show their uh, quarterly income, the quarterly revenues, and it's probably not going to be that great. And Tesla is known to like uh, link new innovations with sometimes bad financial news. Now, believe me, I sit in my Tesla Model 3 right now. It's the most important in development in car industry ever since Model T. What Tesla does is staggering. Uh, even the uh, the Volkswagen CEO in the United States uh, have admitted that Tesla is way far advanced than anybody else uh, in terms of technology, in terms of uh, supercharging, and total and total domination. And they are basically taking over Europe. But the autonomous driving is such an incredibly interesting idea because. It, if it is done and it is safe and it is approved, it could change car industry uh, forever. Uh, think about truckers. Think about trucking industry. Think about semi-trailers autonomously driving. What happened? The, the economic impact is going to be staggering. Even Andrew Young, uh, he is a Democrat running for the president. Uh, he's talking about like a guaranteed income. And he talks about that. He talks a lot about autonomous driving because of the dangerous the danger to the labor market he talks also about uh, retail he talks about uh, um, amazon and and what it does to malls and all that but that's a separate issue but basically what tesla is probably going to talk about is a new chip a new computer chip that has been in development for three years and this this addition to this chip that's going to be added on to let's say tesla model s's x's and threes uh, is it going to be the game changer is going to be making the car uh, autonomous uh, um it, it is not guaranteed i mean i drive an autopilot i drive a navigate an autopilot and i can tell you even though it's much better than it was three months ago it's still way far away from fully autonomous there are so many variables that um, need to be um uh, uh, 
reconcile and improved and especially uh, regulation. Uh, if it was so easy, uh, GM Cruise and Waymo would have already accomplished that as well. It's not like they don't know so they don't know something that Tesla knows. But what Tesla has that is so far in advance on anybody else, it's a, their biggest advantage. It's a, it's their data collection. Okay, they have four hundred thousand uh, sensors on Tesla cars that be driving around for years and years now and they've been collecting data and improving Tesla uh, AI and Tesla uh, autopilot and Tesla's full self driving future exponentially than anybody else exponentially uh, what the, the data collection that they have and how they use it to improve so if anybody is going to go with um, with um, um, a full self-driving autonomy, uh, Tesla will be the best candidate because they just are so incredibly ahead of everybody else. Just like with the uh, supercharging network, they are so incredibly ahead of everybody else. There is no issues anymore of driving anywhere, anytime, any place without any worries. And what they did is just staggering. So the the uh, this week is is big uh, announcement. Yeah, no, you know, Tesla always like to make bombastic announcements and then delay is Tesla's second name, uh, but they do deliver eventually. They do deliver eventually. They do come through eventually, and that's incredible. Thank you for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Appreciate you viewing. Please help me change the world one electric car at a time. Please subscribe. See you tomorrow, guys.